guys, it's Mr. Scotty Pie here, and I am back for day 18 of the Cineworld Movie Challenge. If this is your first video, to let you know what's going on here. Basically, the UK cinema chain Cineworld put up a daily uh, challenge on their Twitter page. A link to their Twitter page is in the description below. Basically, um, they put up a, uh, a question every day which you respond to with your personal choice. I decided to nick that idea and turn it into a video um, series. So, day 18, the um, subject or the question was a film you couldn't stop thinking about. For me, this was quite difficult actually because a lot of films have stayed with me quite a lot. I do get quite easily um, emotionally invested into a film and so I usually get left thinking about films quite often. Um, someone who's great at doing that for me is um, Guillermo del Toro films such as Paz Labyrinth and uh, Shape of Water and Stanley Kubrick I think is genius at doing that such as Barry Lyndon and 2001 A Space Odyssey. Films like that stay with me and I think about them quite often. Um, and I've kind of gone through a multitude of films. As I said, I do get quite emotionally invested in films. But one that I know, it's been out for like four years now, came in 2016, and it's still one I think about quite often. So I thought that'd be a good choice. It's one I do talk about my friends, talk to my friends about, and we all have um, the same sort of thoughts and feelings behind it, and we both say, believe that it's, one that we think about quite a lot and that film's Arrival. It's a film that stars Jeremy Renner and Amy Adams. It's uh, a sci-fi film. Uh, if you've not seen the film basically um, I think it's seven or so many um, ships appear on earth one day. Nobody knows where they came from, nobody knows what they were here for. So Amy Adams' character is drafted in because she's a languages expert and um, basically they want to try and work out what they're speaking about. And basically it follows that and the reasons why they came to Earth. It's quite a basic storyline, but it's so incredibly well told. It's um, a slower paced film, which are always my favourite films. I like when a, a film doesn't rush to get to the end in it takes its time to build characters and build a storyline and basically creates this world and this whole story for you. Obviously I don't want it to be a boring film or a long film for the sake of being long or slow for the sake of being slow, but I want you to tell the story in its own, uh, own pace and I think this film does that absolutely perfectly. Um, the characters you're not sure how to take them at first, but they build on you so well, and you are so emotionally invested in not just the two main characters, but the side characters as well. You want to know what their story and backgrounds are. And even with the aliens, you never really see too much of them or understand their way of speaking, but at the same time, you become emotionally invested in what they're doing here, and when you find out what they want, it's impactful. I think impactful is quite a good term for this film. I think this whole film is incredibly impactful. It changes your way of thinking quite often. It changes judgments quite well. It makes you believe um, in the power of language. And that language is the common factor, in, not just in Earth, but in all beings. And, and, and if you have communication and anything's possible and there is a point of war versus a communication in this film when other countries who have these um these ships on their territories believe it could be hostile because of a a communication breakdown it's obviously i'm not saying that's true or not i don't give any spoilers because this film has some of the greatest twists in cinema history in my opinion it really will blow you away. This is fantastic in every way for me. It's one. It's one of my 
top favourite films of all time because of everything. The acting's perfect, the cinematography's perfect, the um, the dialogue's perfect, the, the script in general is perfect, the twist is the greatest twist I've ever seen in film. It's You never see it coming but it changes the way you see the entire film so much so that you want to completely rewatch the film straight afterwards to see it in this new way. If you haven't seen this film you're really missing out. It's an absolute cinema masterpiece. And I believe this film could have also landed into another category of this um, series, which is um, the most underrated film. For that I chose an Australian film called Ned Kelly. But this one was a film that I considered because I think this is one of the greatest films made. I think this is that good and that highly um, ranked in my opinion. But nobody talks about it in that kind of vein. If you know this film, you're a fan of this film. But I don't think this film hit the audience that it should have. And I think, obviously, that was nobody's fault, because maybe this isn't for everyone. And I said, this isn't a fast-paced sci-fi film like Star Wars or things like that and Star Trek. This is... The sci-fi aspect of this film is only one small part of it. And the only sci-fi about it is it's aliens, but this film could very much have been about any language that we don't know. Maybe they found a tribe that you know, was undiscovered. It could have been quite easily as that. I think, but I think the aliens gives it this mystery behind it. This uncontrollable aspect. And I think that was what was so beautifully told in this film. But that's just my opinion. A film that you couldn't stop thinking about for me is Arrival. What's your choice? What left you thinking about a film days, weeks or years later? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to know. And I do respond to all comments, so let's start a conversation. If you did enjoy this video, consider dropping it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, or movie reviews and trailer reactions, consider dropping a subscribe, that would mean the world to me. But that's me. I hope you have a good day, morning, evening, night, toilet break. Thank you very much. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you'd like to drop a like, a subscribe, share, hit the bell notification, that would be amazing. And you will see on this side of my head, you will see another video which YouTube has recommended just for you. And on this side of my head, you will see a logo to subscribe to the channel. If you want to hit that, I will love you forever. Goodbye.